Hi everyone, this is Mr. Eisenbrown from the Counseling Department, here to take a couple minutes with you just to explain a system that we have here for you at EPCHS that we think can be really helpful when trying to identify colleges that fit what you're looking to do for after high school. Again, if that's your path, is going to a two or four year college after graduation, there's about 5,000 different options out there for you. So one of the ways to kind of narrow down that search is through using Naviance and a specific function on there called the College Supermatch. So in the tutorial today, we're just gonna briefly show you how to access the Supermatch, what its functions look like, uh, kind of give you an example of how it can help you in identifying some schools that might be good fits for you after, after EP. So again, the way you accessed, access Naviance is this. So you are gonna to go to the main Evergreen Park website in the student section. And then you can access it two ways. You can either just hit the drop down box for Naviance right here, uh, or if you just click on the student section, it'll pop up as an option over on the left hand side. And then all you have to do is log in with Clever. And once you log in with Clever, you are going to see something that looks like this obviously with your name in there, not mine. And this is kind of the main screen. And again, Naviance is a great resource available for you. Um, we hope you do utilize it in a lot of different ways, uh, whether or not it's looking for different career options for you and finding out more about that, uh, or if it's sending transcripts during your senior year. Uh, but for juniors, one of the great functions of it is to help you get information about colleges, if that is your path after high school. So the way we access the Supermatch is over here on the right-hand side, we are gonna hit Colleges. We are gonna go down to Find Your Fit, and right on top is the Supermatch College Search. And what it does is it takes criteria that you select, that, which means just items you're looking for your college to have, and it's gonna filter out all the rest. So you'll see how this works throughout the course of this quick demonstration. So what you have to do is you have to go ahead and hit select criteria to start. And here are the different options you can select by location and how it filters is this. So let's just say there's a, you wanna stay around Illinois. So you wanna stay in the Midwest. Well, by clicking on that, it's going to filter colleges from Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Wisconsin. And it's going to get rid of colleges in any other states besides those. And again, you can adjust and tailor as much as you want. Uh, so for example, if you wanted, um, didn't, you didn't want to go to school in Ohio, you want to stay in the Midwest, but not Ohio for some reason. We get rid of that and it's going to get rid of any colleges in Ohio. And again, I think you can see how that works. And you can also select um, if you want it to be in a large city, small city, suburb, rural uh, area. Again, you can be as specific as you want it to be. And the nice thing about this is you can always adjust. You know, you can do multiple searches using different criteria and see uh, what colleges match up. So let's just move along for academics. Uh, for You can search by different degrees types, uh, going all the way from getting a certificate all the way up to your uh, doctorate. For today's sake, we are going to go bachelor's degree. And then it's going to ask you, do you have a specific major in mind? Well, you can, if you don't, that's fine as well. You don't have to put a specific major in. Um, you can either use the drop down box. And as you can see, the length or the amount of optional majors is pretty staggering. Um, or if you know what you want to do, you can just go ahead and type it in. So let's just say I want to go into journalism. Oh, start typing, broadcast journalism pops up. And now it will only find schools in the Midwest, except Ohio, that offer degrees, a bachelor's degrees in broadcast journalism. As we go to admissions, Right here, we'll uh, say this student has a 3.2 GPA um, because you have not, the majority of you have not taken the SAT or ACT yet. Uh, we'll keep that blank. If you certainly like to, you can put in what, you know, if there's a certain score you're, you're shooting for or that your, is your goal on the SAT, you can enter that if you like, um, but you can also leave it blank. So obviously you throw in whatever your, your own GPA is. Um, if you wanna search for schools by, based on their acceptance rate, uh, so for example, if we were to click this box right here, it would filter in 
only schools that accept 25% of students that apply or lower. Again, um, and that goes from 25% or lower tend to be your more um, highly selective institutions. And that ranges all the way down to open admissions where the, uh, the colleges will accept anybody that applies. Uh, most oftentimes those do tend to be community colleges. Uh, there's some other factors down here, um, if they accept AP credits. Uh, so let's say you took a few AP classes here at EP, you wanna make sure you get those credits applied. You can select that as well. All right, student life. If there's specific organizations or clubs, you can identify those. If you wanna be in a fraternity or sorority, uh, you can select that. If you wanna be in the ROTC, again, a lot of different options for you. Let's just say hypothetically, uh, because we're interested in journalism, we wanna be on the newspaper at that college as well. All right, next filter could be for uh, diversity as well as gender. Uh, so again, you can uh, specifically say it, that you would like um, a certain percentage of students at these universities to be minority students. Uh, you can also filter for uh, historically black colleges and universities, uh, Hispanic serving institutions, tribal colleges, or LGBTQ and inclusive schools. Um, you can now do the same with religious affiliation if you enter uh, your particular religious affiliation you are looking for. Uh, degenerate con concentration, uh, you can do this either by just selecting a co-ed school, all men's uh, college, women's college, um, or if you there was a certain percentage split you were looking for, you can enter that as well. Uh, for institution characteristics, uh, if you want to go to a two-year school or a four-year school, uh, for the sake of this demonstration, we are going to go uh, for a bachelor's degree, which tend to be for your, which are for your institutions. And then you can, if you want, you could put a certain average class size. And again, you can play around this as much as you like. Uh, student body size is one that I definitely encourage all students to really think about. Um, again, if you have gone through all the Evergreen Park schools, um, you know, from the, the four grammar schools to Central Middle, uh, now to EPCHS, um, we are a pretty small uh, high school when compared to, to others in the area. Um, so again, and if you like that, if you like the fact that you know, um, you know, the vast majority of students in your uh, in your academic class, then you may want to, you know, look at other small to very small schools. Um, if that's not a consideration for you, you know, very large schools are over 20,000, large schools are 13,000 to 20, and then you can see midsize and medium. Uh, for the, again, for the sake of this demonstration, we will select midsize and medium, again, which gives you a range of 4,000 students up all the way to 13,000. Cost and tuition. So again, if there's a certain budget uh, that perhaps uh, you and your family have uh, for your college cost per year, uh, this is a great place to, to enter that. Uh, one thing you wanna do, because there is a difference between in-state versus out-of-state tuition, uh, you wanna go ahead and put Illinois in as your home state. And let's say there was a certain amount that you needed to spend under based on your family's budgeting. Let's just say under $30,000 a year. All right, as we move on, you can add athletics. Uh, as I'll show you really quickly, there is a wide variety of different uh, options. Again, uh, including arm wrestling, broom ball, equestrian, horseshoes, mountaineering. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of things. And again, if there's something in there that appeals to you, see who offers it, see if it fits um, as a part of your criteria. As we move on, there's also different resources uh, that you may want at your college or university. Uh, so please take a look through and check off, you know, any that apply to you. Because uh, again, the more information you give the system, hopefully the, um, the best fit it will find you. All right, so for this example, we'll close that off. And we have come away with 22 institutions that fit us with a score of 90 or above. As you can see, the top institutions fit 100%. Let's just use the one on top right there, Northern Michigan. So let's see why. It's 100% fit because it matches in these categories. It's located in Michigan, which is in the Midwest. It's a four-year institution. The uh, total students 
are within that range that we looked for. They offer a major in broadcast journalism. They do offer a newspaper. They accept AP credits and it costs under $30,000. As you can see right here, uh, $15,000 is the average for out of state tuition and fees for one year. So that's why it fits. So if this was really my criteria in looking for a college, well then I probably would want to consider Northern Michigan a little bit more or want to do some more research uh, because it seems to have everything I'm looking for. And again, even here, it'll tell you an academic match. Uh, so for again, I said the student, my GPA was 3.2. The average that gets accepted to Northern Michigan is a 3.07. So you, you know, you would look to be in a, a good spot there. So let's say you want to do more information. You can do a couple of things. Uh, you can highlight the heart to save it to a favorites list, or you can just simply click on the university and they'll send you to its own specific page on Naviance. So again, it gives you some information. It lets you know the graduation rate for four years. So again, for Northern Michigan, the 25% of students graduate after four years. 50% of students graduate after or within six years. Um, so let's say it also gives us an average net price based on family income. Again, these are estimates. This is not exactly what it's going to cost you, but it can provide you with a good, a good estimate. Uh, so let's say uh, a family income is in this range here. Then it would tell you that the average price would be about $13,000. Um, acceptance rate at 74% and deadlines for the school. Again, as we go a little bit further, you can see student faculty ratio, the average classroom size, student retention rate. So the percentage of students who return from their freshman year to their sophomore year, and some of the top areas of studies at this particular institution. You can then go down and search if you wanted to, all the different majors and minors that the school has to offer. If we go back up, for student life, it'll tell you what size school it is, medium, nearest city, how many distance it is, or how, how many miles it is from your high school, what percentage of students live on campus. You can get both an ethnicity, gender, and age background. How many students are in state versus out of state, and their total undergraduate students. Again, from the admission standpoint, Again, talks about the application fees, acceptance rates, and then again, a little bit more with cost. As you can see, the difference between in-state versus out-of-state, and it allows you to kind of adjust the, the income for the family based on whatever your, uh, your current family income is. Uh, so again, it's a lot of great information that's here through Naviance. And again, that Supermatch College Search is kind of your gateway to discovering a lot of schools that you may not have known about. Uh, we really hope you will use this um, as, a, as a way of identifying these schools early within junior year. You know, the one thing we don't want is our students not knowing what they're looking for in a school, not doing the research, and then just applying to any random school uh, just just because, or maybe whatever's closest. Uh, we hope that you will give this some this some thought, and utilize the the resource here available to you. Again, as always, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to any of us here in the counseling department. Um, we hope you found this helpful, and we look forward to talking with you soon.